three giant 200 meter high pillars and a ship on them, Marina Bay sends a symbol of Singapore from its signature rooftop pool and rooms inside. I've seen it on the outside quite a lot, but what about its inside? DDN is going to take a close look at it today. What's up everyone, it's DDN Korean Traveler. Opened in 2010, Marina Bay Sands was designed by Moshe Shakti, an Israeli architect. Called as 21st century's leaning tower of Pisa, it was a big challenge among architects from its design phase. Two slanted buildings in a maximum angle of 52 degrees are leaning towards each other, and three similar buildings constructed additionally. Hence, the ship-shaped Sky Park had to be built with 7,700 tons of steel. But Korea's Sangyong Engineering and Construction, that had successfully led prominent construction projects around the world, was designated as the constructor, and as you see now, successfully completed the construction. Having a shopping mall, casino, number of eateries, the giant Marina Bay Sands is a hotel with as many as 2,561 rooms. Headquartered in Las Vegas and having five hotels in Macau, Las Vegas Sands Corp is managing the hotel. Looking at the buildings up front, you call them Tower 1, 2, and 3 from the right. The hotel is connected from the lower floor all the way up to the top pool and have two entrances on each left and right side. There are also two front desks, one for each left and right entrance at the front. The main front desk in Tower 1 on the right is 24 hours open, and the one in Tower 3 on the left does not open during late night or at dawn. As seen earlier, each tower looks like two slanted buildings are meeting with each other so a space is made between them at the lower floor part, which becomes the hotel lobby in the form of an atrium. Due to its giant size and the entrances located only at each side of the buildings, sometimes my legs hurt. The hotel has three types of standard rooms and six types of suites. First, let's take a look at the room where I stayed, the deluxe room. What's most significant about the 35 meter square deluxe room is a big cool glass window occupying an entire side and the city view of Singapore seen through it. You can see wonderful skyscrapers of Singapore, the finest hub of Asia with Malian spouting water at the center. The hotel defines the city view as the one seen on the floor up to 39th facing the town and the view seen on the 40th floor or above as a sky view. Meanwhile, on the opposite side of the building, you can see the view of Garden by the Bay, famous for its super tree. Likewise, the view on up to the 39th floor is called Garden by the Bay view, and the view over the 14th floor is called the harbor view with sheep stock at the sea more distance than the garden. Both are special views that can only be seen at Marina Bay Sands, so no matter which view you choose, you won't regret it. Inside the room, the carpet and wall are decorated mainly in gold, flowers on the wall behind the bed look unique. Compared to the flamboyant exterior of the hotel, the room inside looks quite simple. Near the window are a sofa for enjoying the view and a table for work. The bathroom near the entrance is separated by each space, one of which is for the washstand. Roberto Cavalli products are offered as amenities. In the mini bar, there are coffee capsules, Sir Thomas J. Lipton's tea bags, and bottle of soda. Let's take a look at Orchid Suite, the most basic one among the six suites. Orchid Suite you are seeing now is the one at the corner at the end of the building, which is why it is larger than other Orchid Suite rooms. So although it's a room with a city view, you can enjoy the gardens by the bay view in the living room. Each inside is also decorated in golden tone just like the deluxe room but it was different from the point that it has a large separate living room. At the end of the corridor, there is another small living room and a bedroom, which are separated by a TV in the middle. Above all, it has full glass windows as large as its room size, which provides a larger city view of Singapore. With a much bigger bathroom, it has a bathtub along with two washstands, and across the bathroom, a large dress room for clothes and baggage. Many dreams of staying at Marina Bay Sands because of this place, the rooftop pool on its top 57th floor. Let's take a look. The length and width of the rooftop pool is so long and deep, both of which make people astonish it. 
Above all, the city view of Singapore from 200 meter to 57th floor is enormous. Many people come all the way up here just to take a photo. Also, the length of the pool is extraordinary. Though the hotel manages around 2,500 rooms, go swimming or using a sunbed is not much difficult because of its giant size. The pool is all connected but occasionally separated, so there are three sections of it. It was good that they served ice cream or beverages while playing around. On the opposite side of the harbor view is a warm jacuzzi, along with a pool bar and restaurant which can be visited as you want. FYI, the rooftop pool is available only for the hotel guests over 16 and they check your card key per person before the entry. On the 55th floor, there is a fitness club managed by Banyan Tree Holdings. It will feel great to run with the view of the Grand City view of Singapore, so though you are not interested in exercise, you might want to visit just for digestion. The hotel has many attractions besides the rooftop pool. First, the size of its shopping mall connected to its lobby is enormous. Not to mention luxury brands, you can find all different kinds of brands here. In particular, joining the Marina Bay Sands Rewards will give you discount and mileage point at various stores in the mall. So I suggest just downloading the app and joining. Along with shopping, there are many attractions and things to enjoy. You can ride a sampan boat to look around the mall, there is a light canvas with a profound combination of crystal overhead and fish on the floor. There is the Sky Park Observatory on the 56th floor. With an entrance fee, a place like this is open to non residents as well, so keep it in mind. Also, the Spectra Light and Water Show takes place every night on the sea in front of the hotel. Its scale was as big as those of other shows in Vegas. I hadn't have much expectation, but it was so nice and above all, it is free for everyone. So I recommend those traveling to Singapore to visit this place. Since it's a big size hotel, there are a lot of eateries. What's most important is breakfast. The most famous breakfast place in the hotel is Rise, a restaurant located in the first floor lobby. And various dishes are prepared for guests around the world, and both its atmosphere and taste of the dishes were flawless great. For other restaurants I recommend, there is Labo, an Italian resto bar, on the 57th, the top floor. Food and cocktails with the beautiful night view of Singapore from the top, so special. The restaurant is open to non-residents of the hotel as well, so it would be great if you make a reservation for the terrace seat in advance. Wakuda, a Japanese restaurant in the lobby, was very nice as well. They serve an elegant course meal we interpreted in a modern style, which has a great taste and atmosphere here was great. I had one tasty neat meal when I got almost tired of western-style meals. Besides, including restaurants in the mall, there are various types of good restaurants in the hotel. At least you won't have to worry about what to eat. Marina Bay Sands felt like a big theme park rather than a simple hotel. There are so many various attractions that I fully enjoyed my stay with no time to get bored. If you have kept Marina Bay Sands just in your eyes every time you visited Singapore, for one time, visit the hotel, go up to the observatory, enjoy free performances, or even stay for a night if you have a chance, and make beautiful memories of a lifetime. If you find today's clip helpful to your visit, subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. This was TDN Korean Traveler. Thank you.